Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining me here. We're going to do something today that we all already know how to do and that's breathe. But we sometimes forget to breathe deeply and stress can cause shallow breathing and shallow breathing can cause stress. So let's take a few minutes here to breathe nice and deeply. And you're just going to begin in a comfortable seated position. I'm sitting on a pillow with my legs crossed. But if you prefer to sit in a chair with your feet flat on the floor, then you can do that as well. The idea is that you want to keep your spine nice and straight and tall. So sitting in any position that you can where you're stacking your spine, one vertebra on top of the other, sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and do so. And you see that I'm here in my backyard. Um, it's lightly raining and there's some beautiful bird sounds around me and lots of insects flying around. Um, so be in a place that's comfortable for you. This is a place that's really comfortable and peaceful for me. Um, so I hope that you find a comfortable and peaceful place. So let's just begin sitting up nice and tall. As you inhale, you're gonna bring your shoulders all the way up towards your ears. Hold the breath, hold the tension, and sigh it out. <sighs> Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, hold, and release. <sighs> Again, inhale, hold, and release. <sighs> One more time. Inhale, hold, and release. <sighs> Beautiful. Now bring your hands onto your belly. And you're gonna take a de nice deep inhale and you're gonna fill your belly up like a big balloon. And as you exhale, let the breath come at back out through your nostrils. Inhale, filling up your belly. Exhale, back out through your nostrils. Squeezing your belly button back towards your spine. Again, fill up your belly like a big balloon as you inhale. Exhale, squeezing it back towards your spine. Beautiful, now move your hands up towards your rib cage. And now I want you to feel like you're breathing in and out and expanding your rib cage laterally out to the sides as you inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale almost thinking about the gills of a fish. Inhaling and exhale. Beautiful, now moving your hands all the way up to the top of your chest. This is our most superficial, lightest breath. Inhale just at the top of your chest and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And sometimes this is how we breathe when we're stressed, just right at the top of the chest. But now we're gonna try and connect all three breaths. So move your hands all the way back to your belly. Inhale, filling up your belly. Continue to inhale, fill up your chest. And continue to inhale just at the very top. And as you exhale, squeeze your belly button towards your spine and lower your hands down. Continue with this three-part breath. Belly, rib cage, top of the chest. Exhale, release. Again, belly, rib cage, top of the chest. Exhale, release. Continuing to breathe, belly, rib cage, chest, and release. And notice how I'm changing up my arm movements. Now I'm just gonna allow my arms to flow down and up. Still moving through those three parts, but allowing my, my arms to flow at a natural rhythm. Inhaling as your arms draw up. Exhaling as you lower your arms back down. Let's do it three more times. Inhale. And exhale. 
Last two, inhale. And exhale. One last time, inhale. And exhale. And placing your right hand on your chest and your left hand on top of your right, allow your eyes to close. Taking another nice deep inhale, becoming aware of your heart beating. Noticing as you've slowed your breath, you've also slowed your heart rate, you've slowed your blood pressure. Oxygenating all of our cells. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes and release your hands. So our next breath is called the Brahmari or bumblebee breath. So it's a little bit strange, but it feels wonderful and you get a really wonderful vibrating, tingling, happy sensation inside your whole face when you do this breath. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna close your ears with your thumbs and you're gonna close your eyes with your hands and you're gonna make a humming sound like this. Hmm. And that hum is actually an exhale. So as you inhale through your nostrils, you're gonna hold the breath. And then as you exhale, you will release that breath with a humming sound with your eyes and ears closed. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then you can pause your video and you can do it on your own three times. Here we go. Hmm. Go ahead and pause the video and do it on your own three times and then hit play again and join me. So I hope you've enjoyed your bumblebee breath. Our final breath that we're gonna be doing today is the so hum breath or the so hum meditation. And if you've done meditation or yoga before, you might be familiar with the mantra that's, that is so hum. So hum means I am that. I am one with the universe and all of its energy. And we're gonna just repeat, so hum, so hum. I am that, I am that. And the so is an inhale, so. Hum is an exhale, hum. So hum, inhale, exhale. Now obviously I can't do this breath and say it at the same time. So you're going to inhale when you hear me say so. You're gonna exhale when you hear me say hum. And we're gonna do it a number of times. I'm gonna do it long, deep, and slow. So you can get a nice, deep, long inhale when I say so. And a long, deep exhale when I say hum. All it is is breathing in and breathing out. Very, very simple. So as you inhale, so. Hum. So. Hum. So. Hum. So. Hum. So. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll hopefully be po posting some more breathing videos soon. Um, but remember, your breath is a very powerful tool and you don't need any fancy or special equipment or knowledge or physical ability to really use your breath um, to really bring some health and peace to your body and your mind. Take care, everybody. Mwah.